Hi, I'm Mirabai from Ontario Nature. And Ontario Nature um, is an organization that helps protect plants, animals, and the habitat that they need to survive, like forests and lakes. Today, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite nature activities to do at home. Scientific drawing of a plant in your backyard. For people like me who really like plants and animals, we often use a field guide. Now, books like these help us learn more about the plants and animals. Now, you'll notice that pictures in these field guides are drawn rather than photographed. And drawings help us understand and see what those species actually look like in the wild. For example, if we draw a cedar for a field guide, we would look at a whole bunch of photographs of cedars, some crooked, some straight, and we would do a drawing that looks like most cedar trees. So when we do a scientific drawing, we want to make sure that we are doing a drawing that is as accurate as we can be. Now maybe you've been asked before to do a drawing of a plant and you did something like this. Well, that's not what we're going to be doing today. This morning, I went to my backyard and I found a plant. Let's see if you guys know what plant this is. Does anyone recognize this plant? This is a pussy willow. And today, I'm going to show you how I draw a pussy willow. Look at this plant. So there are rarely straight lines in nature. Draw our first and our second. Now we're going to start with drawing the shape of the catkins, which are fluffy to help keep the reproductive parts of the plant warm. So nice little ovals. And we will notice that as we move down, the catkins get larger. This has a whole bunch of catkins. They're nice and small at the start. And then they get bigger. This one's drooping down. We want to really look at our plant. Okay. Pussy willows come out in the early spring, which is very cool because ducks and songbirds uh, like to eat these catkins um, to nourish them when they come back from their warm places in the winter. Now, we want to also um, look very carefully at the tips. We can see that there are buds. They're very tiny, so we're going to draw those in as well. Now, some of our lines will be thinner at the top, and as we move down the stem, you can see that the pussy willow gets thicker. Our first and our second. Now we can also look at these little casings. Now that's kind of like an eyelid. So if we have our catkin, we can see that the casing is like a dark eyelid. So let's draw some of those on. We'll notice not all of the catkins have these casings. Other sections that need to be darker are the middle section of the catkin. So we're going to go ahead and make the middle section of the catkin a little darker too. And you'll notice when I'm drawing, I'm trying to draw as a whole rather than focusing on one little catkin. One other tip is to try to really look at your plant and spend more time looking at your plant than you do looking at the page. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing some details now that we have the basic sections. Thank you. 
Now it's your turn to try. So go outside, choose your own plant. You can try drawing it inside, you can try drawing it outside. We would love to see your drawings, so you should email them to us at info at ontarionature.org. I hope you learn a lot about the plants that you found, and if you want to know more about the plants and animals in Ontario, um, visit us at ontarionature.org.